Let's begin by drawing a skeleton that matches the base geometry. To get that geometry, let's first set a project to the files downloaded off the internet. So we set that project, accept, and then we're going to open a start file uh, that contains the geometry we need. Once we have that, let's save it under a different name in case you want to go back uh, and work with the start file in the future. So we're going to just call that FurDude01. So this gives us a geometry file. We can double click to come in to see a file that's been loaded off disk that's in the um, geo folder. And uh, you can see that it has a whole bunch of different groups in there for different parts of the body. Uh, including things like the eye and the teeth and so on. We're going to go to a um, link the ortho views here with a four view and then we're going to go spacebar uh, to the right view so we can start to draw those curves. So once we have that we're going to go tab skeleton. Uh, we're going to set the display of that. We're going to template the original geometry and then we'll use that to draw. Now you've got a whole bunch of hints here that you can work, uh, but I'm going to hide those and we'll just uh, work directly. So the first thing we're going to do is you've got to make sure you're under create and we're going to do a freehand. So by default it will try to use your geometry to place the bones. We're just going to freehand allow us to do it right on the construction plane. So we draw our first joint, draw a second joint, uh, we'll do a third one up here and a fourth one a little bit up here. Uh, what we can then do is uh, continue that. So we're going to do something sort of in the mouth area there, uh, something like a higher upper neck, and then there. Now we're going to middle click to finish drawing. Now once we have that, if we want, we can do a modify uh, and we can do a tweak mode. And tweak mode will allow us to move that. Now if we move them, we move everything, all the parent children as well. So child compensate would allow us to move individual joints uh, without it affecting uh, everything down the chain. Now when we're in this modify mode, we can also do things like select a joint and go up here and type COG, give it a name. Uh, so we can rename all the elements of our skeleton that way. The other way to do that is we're going to bring up a special uh, window called the rig tree and with the rig tree we can see the hierarchy that is related to the joints we're working with right now and we can actually use this to rename them as well so we can call that the spine one spine two spine three and we'll call the next one the first neck so neck one and then neck two, and then the very last one we'll just call uh, head, so the, the head joint. So now we have the, the basic spine. We're going to want to go back into create mode. By default it's going to try to use that last joint, so we're going to middle click to uh, get rid of that. Now we're going to go down. Now we don't, we want to do the first joint, so we click on the COG. And we're going to go down to create a pelvis joint. Uh, then we want to go space bar B, Spacebar B, and then we're going to click here, spacebar B, spacebar B, and now we can continue clicking uh, here to do the knee, the ankle, the ball, and the toe. And middle click to finish that. And if we want to go into modify mode, uh, we can tweak any of those if we want. We can also come around and we can see how those joints work in 3, 3D. Uh, and if we want to make any changes to any, we could do that there. So we can just, now we turn on child compensate, we can move the whole rig over a little bit so it centers on the leg a little bit more. And it takes all the children with it. So once we have that, uh, we can go child compensate. And if we, again, if we want to just tweak some of these and get them exactly where we want, we have the ability to modify them at this point here. Now we want to start naming these. So the first one is the pelvis. That's the, the one right underneath. And we're going to go with the hip. We're going to call it left hip. Character's left hip. We're going to do the left knee. And we're using the um, 
rig tree interface to do that again. Uh, left ankle, left ball, and left toe. Spacebar B to go back out to the 3D view. So what we want to do now is we want to mirror uh, these joints, the ones for the leg, uh, but we don't want to do that for the rest of it. So we're going to go Tab, Skeleton, Mirror, and that will s sort of do everything. But we don't want to do everything, so we're going to go in and only select those joints there and press Enter. And so if we go back to here, you'll see that we're only uh, mirroring the joints that that need to be. We're not doing anything, any mirroring with the spine. So if we go uh, back to here, we can see the mirror axis as well as what's being mirrored there. Now what we probably want to do is get the names right. Um, so what we want to do is on this node, uh, you can say find everything with an L underscore and replace it with an R underscore and that will give us uh, proper names on the other side of the rig um, as we work. And there you go. So now you have your first skeleton.